why is meditation so difficult it is in the silence of your being you hear the small voice of your heart you access your pure intelligence it is only in silence do we realize creativity and the right solutions for all that is happening in and around us meditation is just to be not doing anything no actions no thoughts no emotions just you are and it is sheer delight remember neither the ancient techniques of meditation nor modern scientific biofeed techniques can ever lead you to meditativeness meditation is an understanding an experience of oneness both inner and outer it is springs forth from the deepest core of your being an evolution just as no doctor can give you health so too no master can give you meditation indeed both meditation and health belong to the fourth dimension a dimension beyond the known a master can only help you in removing the obstacles so that meditation happens when you are one suddenly you see this oneness outside all barriers vanish there is no i no thou there is only god or truth or samadhi o whatever you may call this you may call this nirvana zen calls this konuma and sunuma this is pure ishness also this is suchness or what buddha calls as tathata though meditation begins in the mind it is not really meditation begin with the mind one day you will certainly attain meditation when mind ceases you are beyond it only then real meditation happens even to go beyond the mind you have to use the mind itself however use it negatively you will certainly attain meditation one wonders why meditation is so difficult in the beginning your body and the mind are not separate entities instead these are in deep unison and harmony whatever happens to the body affects the mind and whatever goes on in the mind eventually affects your body therefore it is better to use the term body mind realm instead the separate entities your body mind realm is conditioned by certain habits and meditation requires demolishing the old existing pattern and then creating a new structure a new pattern for the body and mind both body and mind are two doors to enter the inner sanctum of bliss and harmony whenever you want to destroy the existing pattern both body and mind resist you can remain waking whole night dancing and partying you do not wink as long as music continues to blare and there is no sign of tiredness the frequency and the pitch of the music that is being played during the moments of partying resonate with your mind patterns and body remains slave to the mind and when you have to attend the meditation sessions 
you begin to feel sleepy and bored very quickly. The wavelength of music is very soothing. It puts your body at rest and mind too. It relaxes you and your efficiency too increases. But this cannot transform you. Transformation is Transformation is conscious effort. Before I take you into the realm of meditation, it is important to understand the nature of the brain and its pattern because brain and its wave patterns is the inner mechanism of the mind. It is the brain wave patterns that affect the state of the mind and its behavioral patterns. Brain is an organ that has its biological existence while mind is the term used to explain the aggregate of brain wave patterns. Brain is an organ that has its biological existence while mind is the term used to explain the aggregate of brain wave patterns, its activities and subsequent effect on your consciousness and inner state of bliss and harmony. It is well known that brain is an electrochemical organ your brain is made up of billions of brain cells called neurons which are electrical energy and in fact neurons use electrical energy to communicate with one another. The combination of millions of neurons sending signals at once produces an enormous amount of electrical activity in the brain which can be detected using the sensitive medical equipment such as electroencephalogram EEG. This is why in order to record the activities of brain we do EEG. The combination of electrical activities of brain is commonly called as brain wave pattern because of its cyclical wave, wave like nature. I repeat this the combination of electrical activity of the brain is commonly called a brain wave pattern because of its cyclical wave-like nature. Our mind regulates its activities by means of electrical waves which are registered in the brain emitting tiny electrochemical impulses of various frequencies which can be registered by an electroencephalogram. Researchers have speculated that a fully functioning brain can generate as much as 10 watts of electrical energy. Other more conservative investigators calculate that if all 10 billion interconnected nerve cells discharged at one time that a single electrode placed on the human skull would record something like 5 millionth to 50 millionth of a volt. If you had enough scalps hooked, you might be able to light a flashlight bulb. So much amount of electrical energy is generated. Even though this electrical energy is very limited, it does occur in very specific ways that are characteristics of human brain. 
even though this electrical energy is limited it occurs in very specific ways that are characteristic of human brain electrical activity emanating from the brain is displayed in the form of brain waves electrical energy emanating from the brain is displayed in the form of brain waves there are four categories of these brain waves ranging from the most activity to least activity such an understanding will help you in attaining to the state of meditativeness when brain is aroused and actively engaged in the mental activities it generates beta waves these beta waves are of relatively low amplitude and fastest of the four different brain waves the frequency of beta brain waves ranges from 15 to 40 cycles a second this is on the kilohertz scale beta waves are characteristic of a strongly engaged mind a person is active in conversation he would be in beta brain wave patterns a debater would be in high beta a person making a speech or a teacher or a talk show host would all be in beta when they are engaged in their work when you engage in your so called partying your brain wave pattern is beta the frequency ranges from 15 to 40 cycles per second the next brain wave category in the order of frequency is known as alpha brain wave where beta represented arousal alpha brain wave pattern represents non arousal alpha brain waves are slower yet higher in amplitude their frequency ranges from 9 to 14 cycles a second their frequency ranges from 9 to 14 cycles per second a person who has completed the task and sits down to rest is often in an alpha state a person who takes time out to reflect or meditate is usually in alpha state a person who takes a break from a conference and walks in the garden is often in alpha state too the next state beta is the first alpha is the second and thereafter the next state or the third state of brain wave pattern is theta brain waves these are typically of even greater amplitude and slower frequency this is how it goes greater the amplitude slower will be the frequency lower the amplitude higher will be the frequency in theta brain wave pattern the frequency ranges normally between 5 to 8 cycles per second a person who has taken time off from a task and begins to daydream is often in theta brain wave patterns a person who is driving on a freeway and discovers that they cannot recall the last 5 miles is often in a theta state induced by the process of freeway driving 
the repetitious nature of that form of driving compared to a country road which is relatively busy would differentiate a theta a state of brainwave pattern and beta state in order to perform driving task safely on a busy road the activity is much more you have to be more careful in driving than you are in beta state of brain wave patterns when you are driving on the freeway you are in theta state of brain wave patterns individuals who do a lot of freeway driving often gets good ideas during those periods when they are in theta brain wave patterns individuals who run outdoors often are in a state of mental relaxation that is slower than alpha and when in theta they are prone to a flow of ideas this can also occur in the shower or bathtub or even while shaving or brushing your hair you remember when archimedes was taking a bath in his bathtub he was totally relaxed and it is there he discovered the principle of buoyancy the floating bodies it is said about albert einstein that he used to take bath for 8 to 10 hours in his bathtub when he was sitting in his bathtub and the soap bubbles are formed he used to envision the entire galaxy the soap bubbles were replica of the entire galaxy and all his researches were done in that state of relaxation when he has locked himself up in the bathroom for taking a shower he is sitting relaxed in the bathtub so this is what it happens it is a state when task becomes so automatic that you can mentally disengage from them the ideation that can take place during the theta state is often free flow and occurs without censorship or guilt it is typically a very positive state of affairs and finally there is delta brain wave pattern here the brain waves are of greater amplitude and slowest frequency the brain waves are of greatest amplitude but their frequency is the slowest they typically center on a range of 1.5 to 4 cycles per second they never go down to zero because if the brain wave frequency is zero that means you are brain dead this is what happens when someone has asked what is meant by brain dead a term used in the medical science the brain wave activities never go down to zero because that would mean that you are brain dead but deep dreamless sleep would take you down to the lowest frequency typically 2 to 3 cycles per second when you go to the bed and read for a few minutes before attempting to sleep we are likely to be in the lowest beta because there is activity when you put down the book turn off the lights and close your eyes your brain wave will descend from beta to alpha to theta and finally when you have fallen asleep to delta 
So these are the four ranges of the wave, brain wave patterns beta, alpha, theta and finally delta. It is well known fact that humans dream in 90 minute cycle. When delta brain wave frequency increases into frequency of theta brain wave patterns, active dreaming takes place and often becomes more experiential to the person. Typically when this occurs, there is rapid eye movement which is characteristic of activity. You would have seen sometimes when people are dreaming, their eyeballs continue to move. This is called REM, a term used in the medical science and the psychiatry and is well known phenomena. REM is a well known phenomena. When an individual awakes from a deep sleep in preparation for getting up, first he has to wake up and then he has to prepare for getting up. When an individual awakes from a deep sleep in preparation for getting up, their brainwave frequencies will increase through the different specific stages of brainwave activity. That is, they will increase from delta to theta and then to alpha. And finally, when the alarm goes off, into beta. If the individual hits the snooze alarm button, they will drop in frequency to a non-arousal state or even to theta or sometimes he may fall back to sleep in the state of delta beta brainwave patterns. This happens naturally. During this awakening cycle, it is possible for individuals to stay in the theta state for an extended period of say 5 to 15 minutes. This happens to us every day. The alarm has gone off. You are awake but you are still trying to prepare to get up and it takes 5 to 15 minutes which would allow them to have a free flow of ideas about yesterday's events or to contemplate the activities of the forthcoming day. It is a period which is very meaningful and of creative mental activity. In summary, these are four brainwave patterns that range from high amplitude, low frequency delta to low amplitude and high frequency beta brainwave patterns. These brainwave states range from deep dreamless sleep to a high state of arousal in beta. The same four brainwave states are common to human species, men, women and children of all ages experience the same characteristic brain waves. They are consistent across the cultures and countries' boundaries. Research has shown that although one brain wave state may predominate at any given time, depending on the activity level of the individual, the remaining three brain wave patterns or brain wave states are present in the mix of the brain wave at all times. In other words, while somebody is in an aroused state and existing a beta brain wave pattern, there also exists in that person's brain a component of alpha 
theta and delta even though these may be present only in the trace level. It has been my personal experience that the knowledge of brainwave states enhances a person's ability to make use of the specialized characteristics of those states. These include being mentally productive across a wide range of activities such as being intensely focused, relaxed, creative and in restful state, restful sleep. These brain waves are known as beta emitted when we are consciously alert or we feel agitated, tense afraid with frequencies ranging from 13 to 60 cycles or pulses per second in the Hertz scale because that is a scale to measure the frequency of the wave patterns. Alpha when we are in a state of physical and mental relaxation Although aware of what is happening around us, its frequency is around 7 to 13 cycles or pulse per second. Theta more or less from 4 to 7 pulses or cycles per second. However, it is a state of somnolence with reduced consciousness. But what happens in that state of somnolence, you feel relaxed. Delta, when there is unconsciousness, deep sleep or catalepsy, these emitting between 1.5 to 4 cycles or pulse per second. In general, we are accustomed to using the beta brain rhythm when we diminish the brain rhythm to alpha we put ourselves in the ideal condition to learn new information keep fact data perform elaborate tasks learn languages and analyze complex situations Meditation, relaxation exercises and activities that enable the sense of calm also enable the alpha state or the alpha brainwave patterns. Beta brainwave relates to the activities of body-mind realm. Meditation requires shifting the brainwave pattern from beta brainwave pattern to alpha brainwave pattern. Beta brainwave pattern is the habit of the body-mind. Meditation is not the habit of the body-mind realm. Meditation is something new to us. Body-mind has set patterns and its associations. When you succeed in breaking this pattern of habits, then it becomes easy to change the habits and capture something of the beyond. You may be surprised. When you are worried, you engage in certain activities like scratching head or somewhere else. If your hand is tight then, you cannot scratch, then worry automatically disappears. You cannot find any association between worry and your scratching. Such is the state of association. Body-mind has definite and set habits and somehow it maintains the pattern. The deepest habit of the mind is food. Without food there can be no life and 
continued. Food is the deepest habit pattern. All that is the deepest in life is the habit of food. It begins with birth and continues lifelong until the last that is death. The life exists on this. Therefore, if you need to change the habitual pattern of body-mind, you have to begin with this deepest habit of food. And once that loses control over you, it will be easy to enter the new direction, the direction of the beyond, the realm beyond the mind, the realm of meditation. The word food is very comprehensive. It includes foods of various sense organs. How can one do this? You remember food is not only that which you consume. Your eyes consume form. Your ears hear the sound waves. Your nose record the activities of a different nature. So all the sense organs are the gateways to the food that goes to the body-mind realm. There is something that you do throughout the life. This is your breathing. Breath is life. It begins with birth and continues until the end in death. In 24 hours you will take deep breath. And if you slowly and slowly become aware of your breathing, then a miracle happens. With this, your brain wave pattern changes. For this, you have to be more and more attentive of your breath. Breathing has three aspects. Incoming and outgoing breath. And in between these two extremes, is the state when breath has gone out but it has not yet begun the inward movement. And then when the inward movement begins the breath has come inside. Once again there comes a momentary cessation. The breath is inside but their outward movement the breath is inside, but its outward movement has not yet begun. When you become aware of such breath movements and patterns, your existing patterns and habits of body-mind realm change. With such change, the process of transformation begins. Be aware of breath movement and then your breath becomes deep and long. However, in the moment of inner disturbance, breathing will become erratic. For deep breathing, you have to be attentive and mindful. Meditation is therefore associated with breathing patterns. By changing the breathing, you can have control over your mental activities. When there is anger, your breathing patterns differs. Your brainwave pattern is different. But brainwave pattern is the outcome of the activity and breathing is the technique through which you can change once again the brainwave patterns and reverse the process of the mind from anger to a calmer state. It does not matter what you are doing. However, whatsoever you are doing, continue to be aware of breathing process. There will be certain things and works during which you cannot remain mindful. 
It is therefore important to remain mindful of those rules. When you are eating food, when you are eating food, let there be total awareness. Be aware as each morsel goes in the mouth. Have you ever observed that eating, which is one of the most important activity, how do you engage in it? You have a platter of food in front of you, full of lovely aroma, color and taste. You have a morsel in your mouth and the next one in your hand. And your eyes are totally fixed on what is on the platter. And very often you would have observed that you have the platter in front of you. It is the food that is on the platter that can give you energy. But you engage in activities of the past. You remain talking about the food that you had eaten last time or planning to go to another restaurant for the different kind of food. You become completely oblivious of the food that is there in front of you on the platter. Be aware of the activity that you are engaging in. Transformation will happen. When you are eating food, let there be total awareness. Be aware as each morsel goes in the mouth. Be aware as the water falls on your body drop by drop. While taking bath, walking on the street, again be aware of each step as you make. Whatsoever you do, be mindful. Your breathing is a 24 hours affair. You cannot eat 24 hours, do you? You cannot breathe for 24 hours, do you? The person that I know who used to take a longest bath is Albert Einstein. He re will remain in the bathtub for 8 to 10 hours per day. And the bathtub was his scientific laboratory. However, amidst all these things, amidst all these activities, it is your breathing that continues for 24 hours. Slowly and slowly you will learn to be aware of your breathing. Forget all that is happening in the world and in and around you. It is the breath awareness that forms the essential core of meditation techniques. It is this breath awareness that forms the essential core of meditation techniques. Shiva gave 112 techniques of meditation based on breath awareness in Vigyan Bhairav Tantra. Buddha gave the meditation to create inner sun of awareness as Vipassana meditation. There is only one thing that you are to be aware of and this is your breathing. The moment you become aware of breath movement, the process becomes like a rosary and then the miracle happens the process of meditation begins. You have asked, why is meditation so difficult in the beginning? Indeed, it is difficult in the beginning because of lack of understanding of your brainwave patterns. And when you connect to your breathing patterns, then the process of meditation begins. Only this much for this morning on why is meditation so difficult in the beginning. Tomorrow in the session I will explain the technique of, the simple technique of 
breath awareness in order to initiate the process of meditation. When you sit down in the company of a master, your process of breath awareness or your brain wave pattern changes from beta to alpha. The process of meditation begins. Only this much for this morning.